What's up everyone, this is Andong and today I want to talk about a very particular aspect of learning Chinese or becoming part of the Chinese speaking world. And that is how to get a really good Chinese name and why it can make such a big difference. If you're learning Chinese or maybe if you're about to spend some time in China, you will have to do this at some point. And maybe you already have a Chinese name, but it just doesn't feel right, you don't like it, people aren't using it. For me, after living and studying and working in China, my Chinese name just became part of me and as you can see I'm even using it for my YouTube channel so in this video I want to share my seven tips on how you can find a Chinese name that will feel natural to you and to the people you're using it with let me start off by saying that Chinese people are considering all these different things when choosing a name for their kids but for you and I'm assuming you're not a Chinese person you know the rules are kind of different first of all you probably want at least some kind of resemblance with the name you were born with and secondly you might have a different idea of aesthetics you know how your Chinese name sounds, how the characters look and what they mean. So it's probably a good idea to find some kind of middle ground. So my first tip as a little warm up is you have to care, you have to put thought into your Chinese name. My first Chinese name was assigned to me by my teacher when I started learning Mandarin. And it kind of sounded nothing like my name and I didn't feel any connection to the name and my Chinese friends felt weird using it. Or another thing people actually like to do is to look on Google for one of those standard Chinese translations for your name. Like for example your name is Christina and you'll look it up on Google and it will tell you that the standard Chinese translation for your name is Kalisadina. But if you ask me, all these names do is they really shout I'm a foreigner at Chinese people. You don't want the fact that you're not Chinese to be defining your name. You want it to sound organic and part of it is to care, to go on a little quest to find the perfect name for you. So here's the second tip. Get a two character name. In China, people actually use full names quite a lot. They will refer to each other using their full name, last name and given name. So you should really see your Chinese name as a whole, as one entity, not as a combination of last name and first name. And most Chinese names actually work like this. There's a one character last name, followed by a one or two character given name. And there are exceptions to this, but this is a pretty good rule of thumb. But the thing with three character names is that in a lot of casual contexts, people will actually drop the last name and just refer to you by the two character given name. That's because the Chinese language actually has a natural tendency to flow better in pairs or in syllable pairs. And so since you are essentially constructing an entirely new name, I suggest going with a two character name from the start. Tip number three, play around with name structure. You can of course go with the classic structure where the first character represents your last name and the second character represents your first name. But again, you have a lot of freedom here so you can get really creative. You can have both characters represent your first name. You can have both characters represent your last name. If you have a middle name, that could also come in really handy. It's what worked for me, for example. Just have all of these options in mind when you consider my next tip, which is number four, phonetic compatibility. Remember, our objective is to find a Chinese name that will sound natural to Chinese speakers, but will also be appealing to you at the same time. If you try to phonetically reproduce your name as closely as possible, it's really up to luck and it's probably not gonna sound good. I mean, if your name is Linda, this is your Chinese name, congratulations, you can stop watching this video. But for most people, your name will actually not so smoothly translate into Chinese. Like for example, my birth name is Azeni Kneifel and that soup of consonants is almost impossible to smoothly translate into Chinese. So keeping those name structure options in mind, try to just play around with the sound of your name and try to find corresponding pinyin or corresponding Chinese syllables. However, you have to be really forgiving and sort of use your imagination. For example, if your name is Victor, that would probably be something like Wei Kata in Chinese, but maybe just the way the first syllable, one syllable, is actually already enough to represent your name. Or if your name is Christina, Kalisatina, you could also just go for one character out of that long version of your name and just go with the Li, which has a nice meaning. It's just important for you to get a sense for what kind of Chinese sound you can get out of your original name. And now step five, choose your characters wisely. You might have met Chinese people with funny English names like Galaxy or Frog. Don't do the same. I would really recommend not being eccentric here. You can't just choose your favorite Chinese character and then have that be your name. It's not gonna work. I actually suggest something else, which is that you look up what characters have been popular as Chinese names in recent years. At this point, you should already have an idea of what type of Chinese sound you can get out of your original name. So now you can go through that list of popular Chinese name characters 
and try to pick out the ones that match your original name phonetically. Then check the options that you're left with and pick your favorites. These are the characters you can now construct your Chinese name out of. This way your Chinese name will actually look and feel like a Chinese name. And bonus points to you if you can get the first character of your new Chinese name to match one of those characters that are commonly used as Chinese last names. But don't get stuck up on that. Now you should have a couple of different options on how to write your name in Chinese. And it's time to move on to the last but very very crucial tip which is run your Chinese name by a couple of Chinese people. Maybe you can even come up with two or three options and then have your Chinese friends, teachers, any native speaker rank them for you. They will probably have some opinions and suggestions and by all means please listen to them. The point of this video is to give you some food for thought so you can evaluate your options when it comes to choosing a Chinese name. In the end I think a well chosen Chinese name where you have put thought into and that is also native speaker approved will absolutely prove useful to you but it will also feel really natural and therefore hopefully help you to build more meaningful relationships and connections with the Chinese people around you. So please let me know what your Chinese name is, who gave it to you and how you've been doing with that. I'm really curious about this. Also feel free to head over to my channel and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.